Hello subscribers and not subscribers and welcome to Elite Dangerous, um, a game that I am going to use in a similar vein as uh, War Thunder, basically just something I will go periodically record and upload some footage of. Um, for anyone who's curious, the song that was playing in the background in that little intro segment, which was a bit longer than I would have liked, but I, but the part of the song that I wanted to use was actually longer than I expected it to be, and so it, that ended up being a bit longer than I had originally planned, but oh well. But um, that song itself is from the soundtrack. It's actually one of the opening songs. I think it's the first opening um, for the old anime Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Um, and when I say old, I mean we're talking like 1980s, I think. Let me go and actually pull it up real quick. I think it's the 1980s. Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, we're talking 1988 to, or 1988 to 1997. So, yeah, it's, uh, fairly old, to be honest, for that. Um, and we're talking, it originally came around in 1982. So, like I said, old. Um, but, yeah, so, I have recorded a little over an hour, like an hour and five minutes, give or take, um, of footage. I've decided to split this, this first episode is something like 27 minutes, not counting the uh, intro stuff, um, while the second episode is going to be something like 39, again, not counting the intro stuff. Um, so this, this first part is probably going to be something like 20. 9 or 28 minutes give or take um, once we take into account the intro stuff and the second episode will probably be something like 40 minutes um, I will have a link in the description to the page in which you can buy this and I don't really have any complaints this game is an MMO but it does have you do have the option to click to play solo so if you don't want to play the MMO aspect, which honestly I think then kind of makes the game worthless to pick up. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, you can play solo if you want to. Uh, but again, I think that kind of ruins the game in this case. Uh, I would say that if you're excited for Star Citizen, this game... You should definitely look into it, because at the very least it should provide you something, um, a, a space sim to play, um, until Star Citizen's released, which again is, uh, in 2014 I was hearing that it was two to three years for that, or for Star Citizens, so it was two to three years in 2014 from what I was hearing for Star Citizen to be released, and so now it should probably be only like one to two years, that's assuming um, obviously that those numbers are correct. I don't even think, I don't think those numbers were actually at all from anyone that actually works on the project for Star Citizen, I think it was just like some speculation estimating that, but I don't actually know. Um, but like I said, if you're excited for Star Citizen, I think you should at least look into this game so that you can have a space sim to play that's not um, the X series of games, because, I mean, those aren't bad games, but if you want to at least have a space sim MMO, yeah, you're pretty much stuck between EVE Online, which is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, or this game, which might be some people's cup of tea. Uh, difference more so being the perspective in which you play. Uh, Eve, you obviously play uh, from a third-person perspective. This game, you play from a first-person perspective. I don't even think there's an option to go into third-person to take a look at your ship um, while it's flying around, which I don't... That depends on the individual. Some people might find it to be a big deal, um, but other people may not really care. Um, but in this game, let me actually go real quick and pull up the... Uh, website so give me one second uh, but if you want to I know that you can 
If you want to be a pirate, you can. If you want to be an explorer, you can. You can be pretty much whatever it is that you want to do. Um, trying to pull the stuff up. Trying to find where it lists all the stuff that you can do if you want. I can't find it actually so yeah okay just gonna ignore that but yeah I know you can be a pirate you can be a trader you can be an explorer you could be a bounty hunter probably realistically speaking if you could be a pirate you can probably be a bounty hunter um, so in a sense you can really do all the same stuff that you can do in um, Star Citizen but at least this game is out and isn't going to take another year or two. Um, from what I've heard, it sounds like there are some features that didn't manage to make it into the final build because I guess they really wanted to at least make sure they had it out um, 2014, early or like late 2014, early 2015. Because I think the game was originally set to release actually in January of 2015, and then they decided to go and release it instead in December of 2014. But I could be wrong on that. Um, but from what I've been hearing on the forums, it sounds like some of the features that it make it in is supposed to be like planetary landing, so apparently you are supposed to be able to land on planets. Um, I haven't actually dug too much into that, that was literally me just very quickly um, seeing that mentioned periodically while I was trying to um, find any info on whether or not they plan to eventually have a 64-bit version of the game. Uh, which, granted, isn't ne isn't necessarily a big deal. I get, for the most part, on my rig, which you can go to the About page on my YouTube channel to see what it is, um, I get, for the most part, hanging out about 50 FPS. Um, it does, however, when I do the um, frame shift drive, which is essentially this game's version of um, faster than light and, or it's this game's versions of this game's version of faster than light travel or a warp drive for example so um, but when I go into there yeah my FPS does tank quite a bit it goes from hanging out at 50 to 60 FPS to jumping down when I first go into like 30 and then eventually dropping down to 8 and then eventually it starts to come back towards the end um, but yeah it, it does get a bit annoying and sometimes the actual thing the uh, animation and everything for it actually takes longer I'm guessing it's actually just because it's taking longer for it to load the sector that I'm going into um, rather than anything else so if they had a 64-bit option that would probably help decrease loading times to a degree because it would be able to, in theory, go and stick some more of that stuff on to the ramp so it's faster. Or at least it has more of it already set up and it can quickly um, grab. But yeah, so if they... I wouldn't mind them eventually putting in a 64-bit option. And if they're going to put in planetary landings, like supposedly they're supposed to eventually, um, it would probably be a good idea for them to add that in, honestly. Um, one thing I want to note is that there is no combat in either of the two parts that I upload. That is because this ship is a crappy ship. This is probably the best way to describe it. It is the starter ship. I have very little credits. It is essentially a ship that is loaned to you by, uh, best way to think of it, is a bank. Um, at least the weapons are. The weapons themselves are actually listed as loan, and you will see that later on when I go to take a look at um, my ship's actual design in the, uh, not shipyard, but whatever it is that they call it where you go and get to mess around with what is equipped on your ship. Uh, I don't actually recall what they call it. Or, yeah, I don't recall what they um, have it called, so I don't really know. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's no actual combat, or at least I don't engage any. 
Um, here, uh, if I recall correctly, uh, I, granted I don't really know what happened here, but I'm guessing what ended up happening is a player pissed off the station somehow, probably by shooting its weapons in here, in this area, because this is a no fire zone. And so the fact that probably a player started shooting, whether or not they did it on purpose or an accident is a different story altogether. Uh, but it pissed off the station essentially. And so the station started shooting at them. But I don't actually really know all the details. That's just a guess because I do know that stations do do that. Apparently, again, based off of reading forms and whatnot, is that yeah, stations will shoot at people that break their rules pretty much is best way, is the best way to describe it. Uh, before I did go into the like MMO aspect, I did actually go through all of the tutorials because I wanted to make sure that I already knew what I needed to do to play. Or I wanted to make sure that I already knew a lot of the basics. Uh, I still sometimes have trouble with the landings because it sometimes seems a bit wonky with some of the stations. Um, because a lot of the times the stations have this thing on them that is supposed to indicate the direction that you go to leave. But sometimes you actually do have to land facing that i've i had one station where when i landed on it it gave me trouble landing because i was actually supposed to land facing the direction which i'm supposed to take off but for the most part that's not supposed to be the case for the most part you're supposed to actually go and land facing the opposite direction of where you go when you want to leave so that was a bit annoying or at least um the launch arrow you're for the most part supposed to go and face the opposite direction of what it's pointing towards but there was one station where I actually had to land facing the direction of said arrow so that was a little bit annoying um, so yeah I do have I do have a bit of trouble landing sometimes still and that's just because again I think some of these stations are a little bit finicky sometimes with landing But yeah, so here I decided to actually go into the, to actually enter the hangar because of all the shooting that was going on there. I figured I might as well just go ahead and at least get, put myself in a spot where I will be safe. Um, so yeah, it was outfitting is where it's listed. Um, and I, theoretically it is possible that I could have done this mission, but I just didn't want to bother taking the risk on a lone ship that I don't really have any experience flying other than in the tutorials, uh, which isn't necessarily the best means of figuring out uh, whether or not you're any good at flying a ship. Tutorials, you don't really know like how outfitted the ship is. Um, so yeah, the pulse lasers that I have as my weapons, yeah, they're loans, so... If this ship gets destroyed, um, in fact, actually, I can tell you guys this right now. Um, I'd already known about this game, but I didn't decide to go and pick it up after actually seeing some footage of people playing it, um, especially after launch. But if you go over to uh, J2 John Jeremy's channel, the second episode, I think it is, um, he dies at some point in it, if I recall correctly. Well, I know. I know it's the second episode, and I know he dies, but it should, I'm pretty sure he shows um, him basically going through the process where he ends up actually essentially taking out a loan from a bank uh, for a thousand credits to basically pay for, uh, honestly, you'll see that to a degree it is sort of a uh, mistake on his part, because he doesn't buy fuel, so yeah. Uh, after watching that, I figured out that, yeah, I'm going to make sure I always buy fuel, even if I don't really need it. Even if I expended very little fuel, I'm still going to go and buy fuel every time before uh, I leave a station. So that's like the first thing I do before I buy anything, is to get more fuel. Because I don't ever want to go and have to self-destruct my ship and then proceed to end up needing to take out a loan for a thousand credits, I'm guessing. And... Or whatever it is it ends up being in that case for me to go and actually get a new ship 
or to be able to go out and continue flying. Which, granted, depending on how lucky you are with what missions pop up, you may not really... You can probably make money quickly. As you saw, I did have some back there that were like 150 some odd thousand credit, or like 100 thousand credits or more. That's quite a bit, but obviously you would think that the mission's probably fairly difficult. So that's the reason why I don't do those right now. I'll do those later. Uh, there are a bunch of different ships that you can go and buy. Um, some, obviously they all, I would say, have their own specializations. Um, there are some ships that are faster than this, but have less armor. Like, the, they're faster, they have better shield, or larger shields, but they have less armor. They have one more hard point, so they have another spot for a weapon, but they have one less utility slot. So they have, obviously, less utilities that they can put on. So, all in all, what I played of this game, I enjoyed. I'll be honest with you, I did enjoy it. Uh, but again, I still think it's something that you really should l at least... If you're interested in Space Sims, you should at least look into it. Maybe you'll uh, come to... You'll find some information that really makes you decide to go and pick it up. Uh, but again, that it's up to you whether or not you get it. But at the very least, I think if you're interested in Space Sims, you should probably look into it because I I think it's pretty good, honestly. Especially if you're interested in Star Citizen and don't really feel like um, pledging into Star Citizen right now or whatever it is that makes you say, I'm interested in Star Citizen, but I'm not willing to go and spend the money right now because you don't know if they're going to end up delivering on what they say they are. So, yeah. At the very least, this is something that should hold your interest until Star Citizen is out, if that is your main interest. Uh, but again, it's all up to you guys. I'm just here to provide you with some videos so that you can go and look, maybe find games that interest you that otherwise you never would have been interested in. But granted, this is a somewhat high profile game, so I'd imagine pretty much anybody who was interested in it has already heard of it. I doubt there's very many people that haven't heard anything about it or people who were interested in it but haven't heard about it yet. That seems highly unlikely to me. I think most people who are interested in Space Sims have already heard of it, have either A, already picked it up, or are B, waiting until a later date. Um, or they're deciding that they just don't want to go and pick up this game because of Star Citizen, which, again, I think is a stupid idea because Star Citizen is a couple of years out, uh, realistically speaking. So... It's at least nice to go and have a, another game that you can go and play while you wait for Star Citizen to come out. Um, but I'm going to actually, I think, cut off my commentary here because I don't really have anything else to say. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but as always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye. Docking request granted.
Engines disengaged.